Hey, quick and welcome to another Minecraft video. And today I'm here with um, Safari Nets. Now, if you don't know what Safari Nets are, they're an item in FTB where um, if you right click on a mob, basically you would capture it. And if you right click again, the you would release the mob where you clicked it. So I rebuilt this in vanilla Minecraft. So let's get started. So we have two Safari Nets. There's um, the single use and the infinite use, and we also have our two items from our last videos, the coin fortune and the dagger. Make sure to, make sure to check those out. And so, yeah. So, for the single use, if I spawn a gas and I kill it, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. It died of suffocation, strangely. So yeah, if I kill the gas, I will get a spawn egg. Let's get some of these items with the coin of fortune. So basically, I have a spawn egg, and I can just release it out into the wild. So let's turn it to... peaceful and then back to easy so yeah same thing with the zombie basically you can just release it out in the wild wait what am I doing I have a dagger ow ow hurt hurt pain pain so, um, yeah, we'll try with the skeleton. Now I have a um, skeleton, and I can just release that into the wild. Alright, so um, now let's show you the, the infinite. Now, basically, if I kill this ghast, I'll get a spawn egg, and I'll get my sword back. Now, if I spawn this ghast in, I will still keep my sword back. Now, if I do the zombie, I kill him, I get my safari net back, and, um, the zombie. So apparently it's stupid. And I need a better weapon. Let's just do this. So, oh shoot. So if I do that, oh, oops. Now I have this, and I can basically just release it out in the wild. Now I should have got, gotten my sword. Oh, there it is. There it is. So, um, yeah. Let's get started on the redstone. All right. So this is all the redstone. Yeah. Love you guys. <laughs> I'm just playing with you. It's actually really simple. Really simple. Let's just go over the scoreboards first. So let's just type in scoreboard, objectives, list. There you go. So let's start off with um, Safari Net. Which to play, which um, is basically stat dot use item Minecraft Golden Sword, Safari Net Two, stat dot use item Minecraft Iron Sword, um, Safari Active, which that's supposed to be Safari Active, which is stat dot use item dot Minecraft Spawn Egg, and we have Kill Skeleton, stat dot kill Entity Skeleton. Kill zombie, stat.kill entity zombie, 
kill gas stat dot kill entity gas and um yeah there you go those are all the scoreboards now let's start off with um this modular which is the single use this is um if you're not using the actual safari nets and this is the infinite use so we just have a simple clock and a test for command test um foring if you have a safari net score of one now don't mind that it's just because i don't have the valid data so when that turns on this these are going to turn on so it's going to test for if i have a kill gas of one zombie zombie of one or a skeleton of one if i have either one of those basically um uh, I get my Safari Net score set back to zero. Um, this it, this command block is reset, which turns that test four off, which turns that comparator off, and we have um, setting our kill gas to zero. Now we have this, which is um, giving us our golden sword. Oh wait, no, that's clearing our golden sword that's giving us a spawn egg and that is replacing that that is replacing um that block wait then what does this do oh okay um that is for this modular which i will explain so basically that's all it now let's explain this one. So it's running off a simple clock and it's basically doing these test for commands. So basically after four, six ticks, um, it will set the score to zero. Now um, since this is one tick because compared to, well, it's basically three game ticks I believe. So um, yeah, so basically it's replacing that that with um this so it's basically turning off this comparator before this repeater can turn on so um yeah this is a good way to tell if you're not using the safari net because if you're not using the safari net then it would just clear it to zero so nothing messes up so yeah let's go to this one so basically just does the same thing but with safari net 2 um gassed um set safari net 2 to, to 0 set gas to 0 set that over there to 0 um removes the iron sword replaces that with the just turns off this comparator and it'll give you the spawn egg now this comparator will turn on activating this clock now it's going to test for if I have safar active of one which is when I use a spawn egg now basically when that happens it's going to give me my safari net back and it's going to replace um, all three of these spawn eggs which is going to turn off these comparators turning off the clock and then it is going to set my safari at there you go there you go So, um, yeah, basically that just clears so, so far active. Then, um, what this does is that that, um, turn, is that that turns off this comparator, and then this turns off that comparator. So, um, yeah that is pretty much it you, it it is kind of complicated but really it's it's kind of simple 
it's a um, modular so basically um I have gas zombie and skeleton you could basically add zombie pigmen slime um you don't even need a spawn egg you can use a map system where if you use a map you'll have the mob teleport to you which would kind of hurt if you're transporting hostile mobs but um <sighs> so yeah guys quick out all of the commands will be in the description below um and if you want more um, things in vanilla Minecraft, like say, jetpack or the power suit, the power suit modular, which I would probably do a live stream for that. First redstone live stream, yay! Um, say the morph mod, which I actually can do. It would just, um, it wouldn't be the exact same, like your point of view wouldn't change. So, um, yeah, I'll see you guys later.